I wanted to show you, I've done some videos on corner bead, but not much. I haven't done much on corner bead. So I wanted to show you, we have all of these columns that we're doing here. Um, at least we're not doing these tops. They've got a, a top for this. But I've actually done, I've actually done columns like this where the drywall came down, came out, came down, came out, came down, came up, and you hit like three or four different tiers. Oh, was that a nightmare. But I want to show you how easy this is. First of all, get the right size corner bead for what you're, what you're doing. I found out that with these tops here, these tops right here, if I use nine footers, I've got all four of these done, right? Let's see. Yes, 49, let me think, one, two, yeah, with two sticks. I got all four of these done, and I only have uh, just a small piece left over, just a, just a tiny piece. Uh, with these bottoms, with the nine footers, I used an eight footer, and I didn't get, didn't get very far, but what I like to do is, uh, the first two I cut, I, I measured and cut. Now you see how short this is? That's because they want everything off the floor. So everything that we've done so far, we've been keeping off the floor. So with a nine footer in right now, understand this, with two nine foot pieces of corner bead, I did one, two, three, four, I'm gonna get six of these. I'm gonna get six of these out of here, which is awesome. And uh, And I have that much left over out of two nine footers. That's, that's all I got left. And these will come off, off the floor. Uh, this, now, this is what I like to do too, is I like to, to square this out. I always like the cut edges on the bottom, the, the factory edges on the top, but this could be cut a little bit more. Uh, and what I like to do is, as long as you got some good snips, see how easy that was? I mean, I'll do it again because again, I've got some, nah, I don't want to do it with that one. I don't want to do it with that one. Um, but here, here's two pieces. I'll put them together. The, look how crooked that is, if you can see how crooked that is, right? And, and all I have to do is just, and it's still crooked. Wait, I cut it three times and it's still too short. I gotta cut it again. But that's, you just cut it around. Get good snips though. I mean, I've got a pair of bad snips. Let me show you what a pair of bad snips does. And these are some bad snips. Sometimes these work good, other times they do not. And that's really, really, see how it just, it's just not cutting well. And then sometimes it just bends it here and messes it, it won't cut it right. It just, I, I don't know why I haven't thrown them out yet because I, I'm cheap and I think, well, maybe I can use them again for something, but I don't know why I haven't thrown them out yet. But I have two pairs of bad ones, and I have two pairs of good ones. This one here is good too, but it's getting sticky because it's rusting. All my tools rust because of the water. Um, but that's, a, I mean, it's a simple, simple way of doing it. Just, uh, if I'm gonna do the tops, if, like if I'm gonna do, if this is a wrap opening, right? I'm gonna take two pieces. I'm gonna take two pieces just like this, because this is a big opening. I'm gonna put it up here like that i'm going to put my thumb right there and i'm going to cut to my thumb that's what i'm going to do I'm not going to cut my thumb i'm just going to cut to my thumb then for the lower levels for the lower stuff again you, when you you put them up here you're going to put the pieces up here like this you're going to put your finger on there and mark it and you can be short you can be really short on these because you're going to pull them up anyway off the floor and you're gonna mark these, and then you're gonna cut these two at a time, cut those two at a time. So with three cuts, I've got all six pieces cut, just with three cuts. And these two go up. When you put corner bead on, you always do this one first. You put this corner bead on first, and then you always butt these up to it. If you're gonna to try to cut this in perfectly, you're gonna have a problem. And these, you've got to play at the floor. You got this much play at the floor. You can cut these pieces this short, this short, and push them up tight. It's fine. Soffits, long soffits like this. What I like to do is I have some ten footers here, some ten foot pieces of corn bead, and I'm going to mud up this one, and I'm going to stick it in place. I'm going to mud up this one, 
because this is over 20 feet. I'm going to stick this one in place. Then I'm going to cut the last one in and I'm going to stick it in place. And as I roll it down, I'm going to make sure that these, these are butted up nice. And then I'm going to roll this one down and I'm going to make sure these are butted up nice. And then I'm going to roll them off and then I'll, I'll roll the whole thing out. But I'll show you how I do it in a minute when we start mixing up the mud and get going. But it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. You have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.